I'm using the Bernat Forever Fleece yarn. It's a super bulky number six weight yarn. I'm using the color Tea Tree. So it calls for a nine millimeter crochet hook. I'm sizing down two full sizes and using a seven millimeter. So to get started, we're going to make a magic ring. Chain two. And we're going to half double crochet into the magic ring 10 times. All right, so I have 10 half double crochets in my magic circle. So now I am just going to pull until the center is cinched. Now I'm going to slip stitch into this first half double crochet to join. Now I'm going to place two half double crochets in each stitch. One, two in my first one, and then in the next one, two half double crochets. So I'm going to keep going with two half double crochets in each stitch until I make it back to the first half double crochet. So at the end of this round, you should have 20 stitches. I just got all the way around doing two half double crochets in each stitch. So now I've got 20 stitches all the way around. So now I'm going to slip stitch into stitch number one. Now I'm going to place two half double crochets in that same stitch in stitch number one. So two, and then in the next stitch, one half double crochet. Then in the next stitch, two half double crochets. In the next stitch, one. In the next stitch, two. So you'll continue that pattern of one half double crochet in one stitch, then two half double crochets, then one, then two, then one, then two, all the way around. And at the end of the row, you should have 30 stitches in total. I'm placing my last half double crochet of this round. So now I'm just going to count and double check that I did everything correctly and have 30. So now I'm going to slip stitch. So this is the base of our pillow. So now we are going to start building up vertically. Now I'm going to chain two. And that's our first half double crochet of this row. So now I'm going to yarn over and go through the back loop only of the next stitch. So we've got the front and the back loop. I'm going through the back loop and half double crocheting like normal. The next stitch, we're going to half double crochet into that back loop. And I'm just going to keep doing half double crochets all the way around only working in that back loop. And this is going to help us start building up vertically. So this is what mine looks like so far. So I'm going to keep going around doing half double crochets in the back loop until I get to that initial chain two. And then I will meet you there and show you how to move on. So I just got all the way around. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two. Chain two. I'm going to yarn over and I am going to place a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So at the end of this row, I should still have 30 
we're not going to be doing any more increases. So this is as wide as our cushion is going to be. So this is going to be the pattern that we follow until we have the length that we like. So I'm going to do a couple more rows of half double crochets before I start adding my stuffing. So I'm going to do a few more rows and then I'll meet you back here. So after 15 rows, this is how my cushion is looking so far. So I'm going to start adding my polyfill. So every like 10 to 15 rows, I'll probably add a little more just so I don't have to do all of it at the end. I think it just makes it a little bit easier to fill it as you go. So I've got my bag of polyfill. I am just going to kind of break it up a little bit to make it less dense because it can kind of clump together in the bag. And I am just going to start filling up my cushion. I want to fill it pretty densely, but I don't want to have to force the polyfill in. So once it's kind of holding its shape and has some squish to it. So once I'm finished adding polyfill up to probably like right here, I'm going to just keep going and adding more filling every 10 to 15 rows as I go. So once I get my pillow to the length that I would like it to be, I will meet you back here and show you how to close up the top. I'll also put somewhere on the screen how many rows I ended up doing for this, just so you know approximately how many to do and you don't have to just keep checking back. So I will meet you when I am finished with the length. So I just finished 100 rows. This is how mine looks so far. So now that it's long enough and I have filled it with the polyfill, I am going to go ahead and start closing this hole. So our goal is to make this look as similar to that beginning circle as possible. So I am going to follow the same steps in creating this circle as I did the other one, just in reverse. I'm actually going to add just a little bit more stuffing. So I'm going to finish off my 100th row by slip stitching into the top of that chain two, chaining two, and now we are going to start closing up our top opening. So we are going to start working in back loops only. So we've got the front loop and then the back loop. We will only be going through the back loop. So in this next space, back loops only, we're going to place a half double crochet. And in the next space, we're going to decrease. So yarn over, go through the back loop of this stitch, pull through. Go through the back loop of the next stitch, pull through. You should have four loops pull through all four. Next space, we're going to do one half double crochet. Now we're going to decrease again. And then in the next space, one half double crochet. So we're going to continue this pattern all the way around the top opening. You can see that it's starting to curve in this way. So we're going to be doing decrease, one half double crochet, decrease, one half double crochet, decrease all the way around. And I will meet you back when I get back to the chain two. I just made it back to the chain two. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. Chain two. And now we are going to do a decrease in every stitch all the way around. And this time we're not doing back loops only, we're just going to go through the two loops as usual. So to decrease, I'm going to go through the next two spaces, pull through. So we're going to do this all the way around. So I'm going to keep going and I will meet you when I get back to where we started. So this is how mine looks after doing decreases in each space. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two, 
chain two. And now we are just going to place one half double crochet in each space all the way around. So no decreases in this last round. So I just made it all the way around. This is how mine is looking so far. So I am going to finish off putting a little bit more polyfill to finish out the top. So I will also use my crochet hook a little bit to just space it out. So to finish off, we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two. we are going to tie off leaving a pretty long tail. Okay, so this is where our darning needle comes in. So we can pull up our tail, secure that. So as you can see, we still have a little bit of an opening at the top there. I didn't realize until it was too late, my camera stopped recording when I was showing you how to weave in your ends. So you will have your long end, you'll put that on your darning needle go through the back loops only all the way around on all of your open half double crochets, pull and that will cinch your circle shut. After that, you'll run the tail through those same half double crochets a few times just to secure it, tie a knot and then push the tail down through your project and you are finished. So here is how it looks all tied in a knot. Thank you for watching and enjoy your new throw pillow.